I'm Kevin Kadick. He's Jay Busby. Today's Super Bowl argument, worst halftime show. The common thread in both of our picks is Nelly. Creepy, isn't it? Kevin, you're a guy from Chicago. You like deep dish pizza. I do. I'm a guy from Atlanta. I like barbecue. You do. Put those two together, wrap them up, deep fry them, cover them in whipped cream, slather a layer of Captain Crunch on top of them. What Sounds delicious. Yeah, of course it does to you. <laughs> That's what you had in 2000 when you had Aerosmith playing with NSYNC, playing with Britney Spears, with Nelly, with Mary J. Blige, with Chris Rock and Adam Sandler, of all people, tossed in on top. It was god awful. It was an atrocity. I'm still not quite recovered. It was a disaster, but not nearly as big of a disaster as Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake were. It was a great show. It started off great. Rhythm Nation, JT solo career, and then, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. FCC fallout, fines, tons of talk shows. It's the reason we can't say <laughs> on the air. Thank you, sir. We, you've just gotten us fined by the FCC. Now, that's all well and good about uh, the off-field matters, but what we're talking about is on stage, and this had the single worst song ever penned by an American band. I don't want to miss a thing by Aerosmith. It's awful. I still have cavities from it to this day. It was the Armageddon of halftime shows, but at least we moved on and started talking about something else as soon as the second half started. Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake, we talked about it forever. There was so much fallout from it. Wardrobe malfunction got added to the dictionary. Nipplegate did. It just doesn't end. I say we blame Nelly. Works for me. Let's go with the best halftime shows. Number five, Prince in the Rain in Miami was awesome. Number four, Paul McCartney in Jacksonville. You can't beat a Beatle, even if you can beat Jacksonville. Number three, Beyonce in New Orleans. Who needs lights when you have her star? And number two, Michael Jackson, Super Bowl 27. Yes, he lip synced, but so what? It's the king of pop. And number one, U2 with the 9 11 tribute. It's never going to get better than that. We want you to chime in. Hit us up at Kevin Kadek and at Jay Busby on Twitter with the hashtag SB Arguments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.